Consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? To solve this question, let's start by isolating our variable h so that it's easier for us to test numbers that will help us find our answer. We can pull this off to the side and then use inverse operations to isolate h. 3k is being added to h, so the inverse operation is going to be subtracting 3k from both sides. These will cancel, leaving us with h is equal to negative 3k. From here, we can plug in different values for h and try to find our correct answer. Let's do negative 3 and positive 3 for h. So we will have two different formulas. We will have h is equal to negative 3k, and we will plug in those two different values for h. So we'll have 3 is equal to negative 3k, and then we will have negative 3 is equal to negative 3k. In both cases, we're trying to isolate our variable k, and to do that, we need to divide, since negative 3 is being multiplied to k, and dividing is the inverse operation. So in this equation, we'll be dividing by negative 3, or really in both equations, we're going to be dividing by negative 3. These will cancel, and then negative 3 divided by negative 3 gives us a positive 1, and then positive 3 divided by negative 3 will give us a negative 1. So in this case, we have an h value of positive 3 and a k value of negative 1. And this means that h is going to be greater than k. A positive number is always greater than a negative number. So we can eliminate two answer choices. We can eliminate b because it was not lower than k, and we can eliminate c because they are not equal to each other. Then for our other comparison, we have negative 3 for h is equal to negative 3, and k being equal to positive 1. In this case, k is greater than h, right? A positive number is still always greater than a negative number, which means between answer choice a and d, d is going to be our correct answer. h can be greater than or lower than k.